This weather report brought to you by Australia's most wanted, the Kia EV6 and Kia Sportage, cars of the year. Tonight's headlines and in breaking news, evacuation orders right now for Warren Nora, where 300 homes are expected to be inundated. Drivers caught out in Preston's tonight, cars stalled, crossing flooded roads. The tugboats continue a rescue mission off Sydney, trying to prevent a bulk carrier from being swept onto rocks. And Prime Minister Albanese has made a secret visit to Ukraine, meeting President Zelensky and pledging more military aid. Now, here's Sally with the very latest on our wet weather. Thank you, Mark. While the rainfall is easing tonight, the severe weather hasn't left the state just yet, with damaging winds and further heavy downpours possible this evening. Sydney's record-breaking wet year continued today. We've seen one and a half months' worth of rain in just four days across the city, continuing what is our wettest year to date on record. Now, this latest deluge has caused, of course, the third major flood event for western parts of Sydney today. Multiple suburbs today picking up over 100 millimetres of rain, including Lucas Heights, Horsley Park, and Holsworthy. The good news is the low that's triggered the very intense wet weather will start to sweep away over the next 24 hours. There is the risk, though, of damaging winds along parts of the coast tonight. The trough will also just start to shift northwards into the Hunter and that will take away the rainfall as well. Around the capital cities for tomorrow, we can expect to see tops of 16 degrees in Brisbane, 15 degrees for Adelaide tomorrow, while on the west coast in Perth, a few showers are expected at times tomorrow with a top of 17 degrees. Let's have a closer look at New South Wales. The heaviest rain is going to push into that Hunter area. That includes the central coast. We've got hazardous surf still forecast right along the coast as well. That'll be from the Eden coast right up to the Macquarie coast. In terms of the heaviest rain tomorrow, that's going to fall in between Sydney and the central coast. For example, Wyong's expecting around 60 millimetres. Newcastle around 50 millimetres in the gauges. While the rain will start to ease through the Illawarra, Wollongong's heading for around 15 millimetres tomorrow with tops of 17 degrees. More rain for the Sydney basin tomorrow. The winds are forecast to ease though that we have seen today. Widespread 20 millimetres forecast for most suburbs. Terry Hills, Richmond, they'll pick up slightly heavier falls uh, with temperatures in the high teens. Damaging surf will also subside along the coast tomorrow. That swell is going to drop back to three metres. For tonight we're heading for a low of 14 degrees. Tomorrow in the city 18 degrees with rain once again but as I said those winds easing. And then it's looking much drier as we hit Wednesday. We're forecast to see just the odd light shower, 19 degrees with around four millimetres in the city, only two millimetres in the western suburbs. Then we'll see just a weak cold front brush through in the latter half of the week and that's going to trigger the odd shower too, particularly along those coastal areas, not so much in the western suburbs. But in terms of the rainfall over the next handful of days, Mark, it won't be anything like what we've seen. Hopefully some blue skies not too far away, yes. Sal. That is 7 News for this Monday. We'll have updates for you throughout the evening. I'm Mark Ferguson from all the team. I hope you have a great night.